Good afternoon. This is Harold with True Hurts Podcast. We're here another day, another dollar. Hope everybody's been great. I hope y'all enjoying your day. I have a very special guest with me today. Our brother, my 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 partner, Damian Gordon, the legend, the OG. Tell him a little bit about yourself. <laughs> What's up, guys? Uh, I'm Damian Gordon, uh, film director, dancer, uh, creator. Right. Um, In many aspects. Many aspects. I'm I'm happy to be on uh, the podcast with my guy Harold most Allen. Def, most definitely, it's a pleasure. He's uh, a a mogul as well. well. <laughs> he's a mogul as well. Uh, I know he's Whatever. being modest on his. This is his podcast. He's being modest, but uh, he's a guy of many hats. So most definitely, uh, you too. You know. Um, speaking of that, how do you how do you get to balance out and you know um, move with all those hats without being over consumed? Uh. I try to keep a, a, a healthy diet, mm-hmm. right? That's, that's uh, good. That's good. <laughs> yeah, Are you talking about like a literal diet? Both. Or are you talking both. About, okay. um, I, I, I like to do Tai Chi in the morning. That's, that's I, my shit. I start See, Tai Chi. Great minds think alike. Look great at that. I, 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 I like to do that. That's just, you know, for my, my health and wellness. And mm-hmm. um, I try to eat really good. That's dope. And uh, you, you know, like to eat. Type of, type of uh, diet you have. You know, because we, we, we're big on, you know, plant based diet here on yeah. Shores Podcast. So. So I mean, it really just depends. Uh-huh. Like, I know the day you asked me to bring you a turkey sandwich. <laughs> I mean, that's a step, though. No, but see, that's like that's like a rich meal for me, right? Okay. Like yesterday, uh, for breakfast, I didn't have anything in the refrigerator but a cucumber. Uh-huh. So I just put uh, some salad dressing in like a little bowl with that's a cucumber, very innovative. and I just ate the whole. That's cucumber. good. That's a I, mean, I like that. Yeah, I mean, it was healthy, but yeah. I mean, but but really, I just that's what I had. That's right, all I had. Right, you know right. I mean? You could have bought something, but you decided to practice that discipline. I could have bought something, yeah, yeah, but I try to discipline. I need um, to do that more yeah. often, man. Yeah, I mean, especially with spending. Anytime, man. anytime I get hungry, I go out to eat. Pretty much. That's expensive. Yeah, it is. But see, that's what I'm saying. This guy no, right no, here. No, no, no. Look, no, I'm no, telling no, y'all. No, look, no, no. I just spent too much money on food. But that's I went bad. to Whole Foods last night and got some fruit though to to kind of help with that. Okay. Yeah. yeah, that's that that's that's pretty good. That's dope. So you know, you know, the questions on True Earth, we got certain questions that we have to ask. You know, one of them is, what is your truth? You know what that means because I'm going to explain that to you. So what's your truth? Uh, my truth is that I'm afraid of failure. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm afraid to. Uh, I'm, I'm afraid that one day my nephews will look at me and be like, you know what, you you gave it a good run, mm-hmm. <laughs> like you every you know you was you was featured on music videos, you was doing right. this, you was doing that, and uh, I'm just afraid to not live up, um, you know, uh, to that, like continue to carry it on. So mm-hmm. you know, I, I bust my ass every day. Why? Where do you think that fear comes from? Uh. I mean, I want to be successful, mm-hmm. you know, uh, whatever that is, you know, and there's not a, like a cap on it. It's not like, you know, I want to have this amount of money or these amount of cars, mm-hmm. you know, um, success to me is when I could take a day off and, you know, be good. I don't have to worry about anything. I'm, I'm right. good. Like every, you know, right. all, all, all around. I got employees doing the, the job that needs to be done. Mm-hmm. I got money in the bank. I can sit on the hammock and just relax. Right, relax. That's success See, to me. He brought up the hammock. I love hammock. So hey, that's my shit. Um, I see recently you was in the, the Drake video. That was big. Yeah, man, that, that was, was exciting. You got a lot of support from that in the city. That was that was yeah, amazing. When I, I saw was, it, I'm like, oh, that's my dog, dang, that's what's up. Yeah, yeah man, that was that, was, that, was, that that was a good look, man. I was uh, it took me a lot to what get you mean? there. Uh, well, so the story behind that, yeah, uh, yeah, you know, it, it's real, it's really interesting. I think um. The opportunity was great. Uh-huh. It was a great opportunity. Okay. I love being, you know, a, a part of that project. Um, so let's rewind a little bit on how it happened. Take right? it back. Okay. Uh, so we, I, where we at right now? We we are maybe like three days before. Like, well, Essence was uh, July what five the fifth, something like that. But between that weekend, whenever it was, right. I was in Detroit. Okay. Uh, I had a family reunion in, in Detroit, okay. and. You know, like on the family reunions, there's like a Friday, Saturday, and a Sunday event. So Friday and Sat- Friday was the meet and greet. Saturday was the picnic, mm-hmm. and Sunday was supposed to be the uh, the uh, reception or the banquet or whatever. Gotcha. So Sunday fun day, basically. Yeah, Sunday fun day. So uh, I got a call Saturday at the family reunion picnic. I'm all the way in Detroit. My first friend called me. She was like, "Dane, where are you?" Uh, there's a music video and they're looking for uh, dancers 
And I was like, oh, I'm in Detroit. So we got to shout out that friend first. That's, oh, yeah. That's we got to shout out my friend, Jazz Johnson. Hey, shout out to Jazz, Jazz Johnson. Johnson. If y'all go on my Instagram, y'all see her and a couple other my dance friends. Man, I love them. That's to death. They are hey, amazing. Shout out to y'all. Shout out to y'all. Thank you for the support. Thank you for the support. Yeah. Uh, she called and she was like, all right, it's famine time. I was like, nah, he's not. So that was dead. Um, I got another call from a really great uh, friend. Her name is Iman. Hey, shout out to Iman. Uh, Iman Marshall. And uh, she called me. She was like, dang, mm-hmm. where are you? Like, like the, the everything is just building. Like, the anticipation is just rising. <laughs> like, each call, right? right she was like, right. dang, where are you? Like, um, there, there's a Drake video. And I'm like, Drake? Okay, so maybe that was what Jazz was calling me uh-huh. about, but she didn't go into detail. Okay. So I was like, I'm in Detroit. So immediately I started looking for tickets. I was like, you know what? I see, I see, I see, something happening. I see where this is about yeah. to go. <laughs> so I'm about to start looking, right? Yeah, for sure, for sure. So Plan of preparation. I, yeah. So once I found right. the ticket, right, another friend called me, oh, Gabby yeah. Slack. She was like. But she has some good friends. I really have some great friends. Some great friends. Shout out to y'all, man. Hey, y'all amazing. I really real. appreciate dope. y'all, man. And um, yeah, y'all just a great group of girls. Mm-hmm. Um, so the third call I got, this is when it got crazy. She was like, dang, where the fuck are you? Dang, so like, that's levels. It's what I'm saying. It's levels yeah. to the shit. I was like, no, this is crazy. She was like, dang, where the fuck are you? Uh-huh. Um, this is the wrong fucking time for you to be out of time. <laughs> and I'm like, wait, what's going on? Mm-hmm. And it's Essence Weekend, right? Uh-huh. So... Uh, you know, it was just crazy. Everything was just crazy. She was like, "This is the wrong fucking time for you to be out of town." And it's you all just like, oh, I and never heard saying, of like, and you need to get, you need to get like back it. to New Orleans like right. today. Right. I was like, I'm already on. I found the ticket. I'll be there first thing tomorrow morning. Right. I called fam. He picked me up from the airport. It was done. Was done right. deal. Right. So uh, how did your family take that? You know, you're leaving the, the family function. And see, all and that was the whole thing. They couldn't understand that. It yeah. was like, it was like, uh, wait, where are you going? You just got here. Like, mm-hmm. what, what is going on? And then the thing is, is that. You know, when stuff happened like that, you can't put out a, a newsletter and be like, oh, guys, I'm doing this, doing this, doing that. Nah, like, that'd so, be just discreet. Right. I mean, and not, and not even that. I, I would like to tell them, but I'm trying to book this ticket. Right. Like, I'm trying to get I'm trying to get there. So it would just been it would have been a lot for me to kind of like tell everybody what I'm doing while I'm still trying to do it. Mm-hmm. If that makes sense. Um, so, yeah, man, like it was a uh, that, that was just crazy. That whole experience was crazy. I had to so fly back to, to New Orleans. Yeah, fly back to New Orleans. I was already gone that, that night. As soon as the, my last friend Gabby called me, mm-hmm. she was like, get your ass back to New Orleans. I was that already, I know that at that moment I left Detroit. Yeah. Like in, in my mind, I was already in New Orleans. So you mentally left Detroit. mentally. Okay. I was still in Detroit. Detroit. But yeah, mentally, mentally I, was, you were in I was like, yeah, I'm at home right now. Right. I need to make sure I got them shoes. I want to wear these shoes, <laughs> these shoes for this video. So you're picking like, out the outfit and everything. I was already at home, yeah. dog. I was already at home that night. Yeah. But um, so when did you actually get home? Uh, I got I got to New Orleans about 11 a.m. Hmm. We had to be on set for 2 p.m. Um, so that kind of worked out like with the, the flight and everything. And right. it wasn't and that God's expensive. Time. Yeah. Uh, so that was great. That that whole situation was dope. Um, Did you get to meet Drake and all that? No. Stuff? So the day that we shot, Drake wasn't in town. Okay. Um, he actually didn't come in town like a week after. Mm-hmm. Uh, so, you know, um, I didn't get a chance to meet him. But I was on set when uh, they were filming in New Orleans okay. uh, a couple of weeks ago. So That's dope. that was cool. But I still didn't get a chance to meet him. Like yeah, shake his hand. Like yo, I'm in that. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right, in that right, video. Right. But. You know, it's all good. In due time. In due, due time. time. Yeah, most That's definitely. Dope. We're going to meet again. So what do you think about the video once you're seeing it produced? You know, you, you're you big in that. Yeah, that world, so. I'm a... Uh, you What's know, your critiques? Yeah, I'm, uh, you know, I'm real big in production and... Mm-hmm. Um, I didn't really like the video. Oh, wow, that's I didn't, the first. Um, I'm surprised to hear you say that. Yeah, I didn't I didn't really like it. Um What, what did I, you like about what it? What I did like about it. Okay, well what did you like about it? Oh, you said what I did. The start with did. Okay. I like I like that I was in it. <laughs> <laughs> um, I like that I was in it. I love that my friends was in it. Yeah, that's I tight. was like, man, look at y'all, man, y'all shine. That's dope. You know what that's I'm saying? Dope. Everybody's winning. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I know there was a lot of other dancers that wanted to be a part that couldn't, mm-hmm. you know, but, you know, it, it doesn't matter. We all representing for, for the sure, culture. For sure, for um, sure. So, yeah, that was one thing I liked that I, I love seeing, just that New Orleans energy. Um, mm-hmm. But I didn't like how it was shot. Um, everything was uh, was so sped up. I didn't like how everything was just so fast, yeah. you know, like, and then they used the, uh, a vintage camera that gave it like a... Uh, yeah, I seen it. I feel like they got some, it looked like they had some footage from back in the day. Like, yeah, well, see, but Even the way the people were dressed and stuff almost. But see, that's the thing. They be trying, like, I think, like, when, when people come to New Orleans, they, they always, like, want to put us in the past. Mm-hmm. You know, like, they would have never shot that video for Drake if it was, like, in Los Angeles or in Atlanta or something like that because... 
like all all Drake's music videos, they never use like a vintage camera, mm-hmm. like like when they shoot in Canada and shit. So I'm like, why y'all shoot like that when y'all come to New Orleans? Because we're like uh, this, you know, country town. You know what I'm saying? Like French quarters. Like what? Like I, I I never really understood why people do that uh, when they come to New Orleans. Like our quality is not as good. Mm-hmm. But I don't know. Maybe that's just like a you know me looking right. looking at. But I think I think it gave it a unique look. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. No, so, most definitely it was unique. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, I agree. Um, I just didn't like the overall project, and I, I met the director, uh, uh, Karina Evans, and um, she actually follows me on, on Instagram. Shout she, out to Karina Evans. Yeah, shout out to Karina. She um, might not like the statement you just made. Yeah, I know. But uh, I mean, True Hurts, you know. So yeah, True Hurts. Yeah. Uh, but I mean, overall, she's a great director. Mm-hmm. Uh, her team was great, and we had a, a good over overall experience on set. So. That's dope. That's dope. Yeah, man. So. Another film that caught my eye. Okay. You know, I know you're big in the film industry. What do you think about Cutthroat City? That that whole situation. Have you heard about that? Uh, I think I seen a trailer. The trailer. I seen a trailer. Yeah. Uh, That's actually, real controversial because a lot of New Orleans people wasn't really feeling it. And you know what? I I wanna uh, wait. So you wait. You talking about? I talked uh, about with the hurricane with the T.I. The T.I. Leslie Snipes and uh, Shamik Moore. Shamik Moore. Yeah, I seen yeah, it. Yeah. Um, I think that's crazy. I think that's crazy. Uh, it's a it's a dope concept, mm-hmm. um, but from the trailer, I didn't like the locations and everything how they used. I don't. Uh, yeah, I didn't like. It either. wasn't New Orleans to me. It, mm-hmm. they, they, it didn't give it give me a New Orleans vibe. Yeah, low riders coming through the city. And yeah, shit. and I'm like, it's Katrina. Like, whoa, the like, accents what wasn't really there. Yeah, nah, I I, I ain't really like that. And I feel like, like they should have used like see. some local, like Drake did, and mm-hmm. he connected with the locals, mm-hmm. and he put you know a part of the, they, he made them a part of the project. I feel like they should have did the same thing with the Cutthroat City film. Yeah, no, yeah. definitely. And, I mean, use, and use fresh faces, right? Like, where's Jason Mitchell? Like, yeah. y'all didn't use Jason Mitchell. Y'all right. didn't. Y'all didn't go get Rude Jew. I mean, just like New Orleanians. Yeah, exactly. You know? like, I think I feel like that would have made made it more yeah. valuable, and it yeah. was, it would have been a bigger impact if Most they did something like that. And it would have got way more support by the city. Most definitely, because I mean, you can't like just use up the culture and exactly. not put. And not use the people yeah, of like, the culture. Because, like, like, if Drake wouldn't have uh, came to New Orleans and shot in this video... He wouldn't have got it as he much love. No, he would have yeah. got some serious He would have got some backfire. For yeah, for sure. Yeah, for sure. Because sure. he already got backlash from the Nice For What joint. Exactly. Just having all the models, even though it was a great video, mm-hmm. you know. Um, but it's like, dog, why you need to show any homage to yeah. New Orleans? For sure. You know, so... So I seen you did some some behind the scenes work for DJ Black and Mild, the producer of all those tracks. That yeah, you know. man, Black and Mild is uh, one of Rich and Spirit's clients. Actually. That's what's up. Uh, Shout out to Rich and Spirit. Uh, Wait, time <laughs> out. What, what is Rich? And oh Spirit? yeah, so Rich and Spirit is my production company. Dope. Uh, we're 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 opening up uh, Rich and Spirit Studios next year. So uh, yeah, soon. real soon. Real soon. Actually, it's gonna be before. Hey, you got you got a film on the way too, huh? We got a film on the way, man. We got a film on the way. It's called Get the Bag. The trailer's okay. out right now. Go check that out. You could uh, YouTube search Get the Bag. Yes. The trailer is out. You can check it out. Uh, Even working so hard that. on it. It's yeah. been dope. Yeah. You know? And uh, it's good to have good friends that come out and, and support you. Exactly. My guy right here, man. Exactly. exactly. Every time I need him, he's always there. Yeah, um, for sure. That's what so, it's all about at the end of the day. That's yeah, for sure. Um, so what have you learned from dealing with, you know, working on your own film, mm-hmm. you know, the production of your own film? Man, I learned a lot, man. Like especially with creating a movie like it's it's so much different than a music video like music videos to me is just like creative like angles and like just really dope editing right. you know but when you talk about a movie you have to strategically plan out how you want things to be right. you, the, the script has to be on point your locations have to be on point exactly you know the the actors that you choose because you can't pay them right now mm-hmm. they have to be available and exactly they have to be committed so it's just a lot man overall and you know we had we had a lot of failures mm-hmm. you know uh, we were supposed to actually release it um in july but you know that was kind of pushing that was kind of pushing too soon but you know um the movie taught me that like don't mm-hmm. be overreaching yeah. you know what i'm saying yeah, like, take your time yeah it's just a lot of yeah be patient it's just mm-hmm. a lot of life lessons that i've learned um shooting a movie that's good so, so no l's yeah. just lessons uh nah we we took some l's too we took what type of l's we took some l's man we just did a, a scene uh that we wanted like a big crazy block party um actors extras cars uh it was gonna be a live performance um, on the block, and we had cops out there. We had caterers. We had um, a spacewalk. The you know just just the, the whole, whole nine, nine yeah. just the whole nine, man. And it rained. 
Oh, and it rained Can't control bad. Mother Nature. And it, I mean, it rained bad. I was I like, low. Like, what is going on here? Yeah. Like, so it rained on the parade. Rained so on are you, the parade. Are you planning on rescheduling that? Oh, definitely rescheduling. We lost a lot of money um, just on that day, but we're definitely going to reschedule and we will be shooting that scene again. That's so, cool. yeah. so what's the, the updated release date? For uh, the updated release date, uh, again, I'm not going to overreach. Not overreach. So, are you giving approximate timing? You know? Uh... <laughs> That mud coming soon. <laughs> <laughs> that's a good. That's good. Sooner than later. Yeah, that's what I like to say. Sooner than later. Sooner than later. Sooner than later. Yeah, for sure. Like say. For sure. That's dope. Yeah, I, I'm excited to see. I'm excited to be a part of projects you have coming up in the future. Appreciate that. Man. I feel like you're gonna be a blessing to the city, a big inspiration to the city. Keep it up. Um, so, what are some things you you know you do for the community? You know how you stay involved in the community. I see you teaching dance classes to the youth, yeah, and things like that. You want to speak more about that? Yeah, uh, uh, dance dance is my passion. Mm -hmm. um, production, video production is my profession. Uh, I, I love I love what I do. I love teaching. I love dancing, um, and you know I want to just pass that down to the next generation. You right. know, uh, because when I was growing up, we didn't have like. Uh, a lot of dance classes and a lot of male dance choreographers. It was always like female, mm -hmm. you know, female choreographers, and you had to go in their class and just watch them like do heels class or you know something like. And you know, I, I want to just be that for the next generation where they'll be able to come to class, learn real hip hop, and you know, just dope. just get down. Um, so, but yeah, that's uh, that's what we're doing. And Rich in Spirit, my uh, production company, will be uh, doing some videography classes and workshops mm -hmm. for the uh, for the youth. So that'll be dope too. Uh, as well, that's actually in the fall. We're gonna be starting that in uh, September. That's so. dope. Hey, look out for that. Make sure I support it. Um, so you know what time it is? What's time? What's what's the time? So is? the time it is not the real time. Oh, okay, everybody say it's three seventeen. The, right? the time it is right now okay. is to do our appreciation phone call. So every week we like to do our appreciation phone call. Call someone that we might have have not talked to in a while. Okay. You know that we might have kind of maybe forgot about. You know, and let them know how much we appreciate them, how much we love them. And all that good stuff, and we need to do it right now. Right now. All yeah. right. Let me see. Anybody see that comes right to here. mind automatically? Uh, I mean, my the first person that comes to mind is moms. You know, what of I'm course, saying? Of like course. always. Always. Uh, you always. know, she's always that girl for me. That's what um, I'm You know what? I think this would be a good time because we're actually working on a production, uh -huh. and uh, I got her like going all over the city for me right now. So this would probably be a good time. It's good. Perfect. What's, what's up, Jeff? Hey, mom. Hey, How are you? What's your culture? Some, something. Good. Hey, you know, <laughs> look, this is mom's right here. So look, uh, I'm I'm on a podcast right now um, with with my guy Harold Allen. Hey, and, what's up? How you doing? And there's hey, it's so good to hear from you. Hey, who's this? This is Harold Harold Allen with True Hurts Podcast, and we have a segment hey, on the podcast. I'm doing great. I'm doing great. I hope you're doing great as well. Um, yeah. We have we have a segment on our podcast where we make our guests call someone that they really appreciate, and for them to express that appreciation to them. And Damien chose wow. you. Wow! Yes, dude, yes. that is so cool. <laughs> yeah, so he about to express so, that to you now. So yeah, basically, I just wanted to call you right now. Uh, I wanted you to stop what you were doing and just let you know that I really, truly appreciate you. Um, Aww, baby, you know I'm gonna cry already. <laughs> Nah, for real. You know, I, I, I owe you big time and uh you for know sure. everything I do is uh is to make you proud. So I really appreciate Aww. you. Yo, about to make y'all about to make me cry. Yeah. I'm trying to hold Dude, it in. I am so proud of you already and I tell you wow. I love you so much. I have wow. never imagined that I could have a son as wonderful as you are. Son. Are you you're so successful already? It's already, like, right? Already. What's your, what's your, what's your the only thing I'm missing is the hammock right now. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I, I really I appreciate you. So much, I, I love oh, you too, and, and thank y'all for not putting me in a napkin. And, yeah, exactly. Uh, <laughs> you know, exactly. And just be. <laughs> I love you. I love I you. All right, mother. I love you, I'll talk okay, to you baby. soon. Okay. Have bye -bye. a good day. You thank okay. you. Let's go. That's dope. So, yeah. It seems like you and your mother have a real special, genuine man, so close, bro. We are, we are so close, man. Uh, it's. It's unbelievable. It's unbelievable. Mm -hmm. Like, really, like, she is my girlfriend. Like, I, I, I wake up and I make sure that she's good. Make right. sure that whatever she needs, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? For me, I make sure I, you know, I be that. Cause that's dope. I got to be that for her right now. Hey, that's dope, sure. man. More and more young men need to be um, 
practice that as well. I yeah. need to practice that myself, you know. For yeah. sure, man. That's Definitely. Dope. Thank you for doing that. Um, what else? What else we gotta talk about? Um, I like your shirt. Thank, hey, I like your shirt. Actually. Yeah, I appreciate it. Yeah. I like I like that. We you know, like kind of like, like the floral game yeah, right yeah, now. Like, I'm, I'm feeling on, that. on top of the black. I'm feeling that you know? swag. Yeah. I'm definitely feeling. You, you like you give me real earth, <laughs> earthy vibes right now. <laughs> Got the camo. You uh-huh. know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm actually kind of That's I'm rocking up. with this. So you like you like nature. You like uh, yeah, man. I love, love nature. I, I I love to just like go outside and just let the sun just like be on my back. Right. You know right, what I'm saying? Right. Like I could just sit outside for like a good thirty minutes. Like not right now. I mean, because yeah, it's hot. Yeah, it's really hot. Right, it's like hot. 90 degrees, 100 degrees is too hot. Sure. But uh, I, I like to do that. That's what's up. That's what's up. Sure. Yeah, I like being close to the water too, man. Nature is definitely key in my life. You know, yeah. staying communal with nature. It's just it's something about the connection that elevates you to a whole different level of thought, you know, peacefulness and all that gumbo of good stuff. And you know what? Before I go, because um, I know we're going to be wrapping up soon, but yeah. I wanted to ask you some oh, questions. Oh, shit. Damn, you're uh, asking me questions? Yeah, because I'm... I ain't going to turn well, my... I mean, just... just now nah, you got to be the host. It's okay. I mean, yeah, Whatever. yeah just, like, just like mogul, you know, mogul to oh, mogul. Shit. You know what I'm saying? I, I just want to really know because, okay. you know, I'd be having questions. I'd be like, you know, am I, am I going about doing things the right way? Okay. You know well, what I'm saying? I think, I think I'll give you a consultation right, right now. So Usually like, I charge for this, today is going to be free. Yeah, please don't invoice me. I won't send an invoice. So, uh... So basically, just give. Uh, I just want to ask you a question on just like, how do you you know go about like doing things in your business, like your day to day, basically. Day to day, you know, like your day to day operations. Well, I have a lot. I have a lot that I do. So I have a you know moving company that's pretty much what pays my bills. So Move mm-hmm. Precision, um, True Hurts Podcast. We here, um, and I also have a nonprofit that I do called Good. And then between all of that, I have a you know different things I like to do just to invest my time in. But like you said, planning and preparation is definitely what helps me, you know, stay on track. Um, like every Sunday, I make sure that I plan out my days um, for the week and mm-hmm. just put certain things in place so that I could be set myself up for success. Mm-hmm. Um, Sundays is my good days. That's the days I invest into my nonprofits. That's the time I have my meetings with those people. Mm-hmm. Mondays and Wednesdays are like my move precision days, and I invest my time in the move precision. Tuesday and Thursdays have become my True Hurts days, you know? That's great. So, and, and, and with that alone, some days I might work on True Hurts on the Monday. And yeah. Sometimes I might work on Moose Fishing on a Tuesday. But it's just being focused and, um, you know, staying um, on top of your shit pretty much. And what you yeah. do a great job at yeah. already. But you, you know don't need so my crazy? advice in that. You know what's so crazy? And and I, I really just wanted to hear your you response. Want to hear it? Yeah, I just I really it. wanted to hear your response mm-hmm. because... I just watched the uh, a, a YouTube video. I watch them every morning. Right? Okay. I try to motivate Who, myself. What YouTube blog or channel? Or I don't know the pl- I don't, I don't know All the right, blog, whatever, but whatever. but I basically YouTube uh, searched the same thing I asked Harold. Um, but I, I wanted to know what Elon Musk do day to day, right? Mm-hmm. Um, and if you guys don't know who Elon Musk is, he's the uh, the the CEO of Tesla. Uh, he has Dope. his own. Uh, uh, what space space station? Mm-hmm. I mean, this guy is he's. He's great. Uh, Google search him. But um, his day to day is that he breaks down his businesses because he runs multiple businesses. Oh, he's also the uh, the inventor of PayPal as well. That, um, he sounds legit. He got yeah. So he breaks PayPal. down his days: mm-hmm. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, mm-hmm. Saturday, and Sunday. Right. So just to hear you, you know, uh, express to me your day to day, you know, you are already set up for success. For bro. sure. For sure. For, for sure. sure. Yeah, I appreciate for that. Sure, I appreciate that. That's for dope. Sure. You're going to be really, and, really and successful. And even with that, even with that, you still got to make time for yourself. Yeah. You know, um, you got to make time for reading. You got to make time to feed yourself because health is wealth at the end of the day. So for don't sure. be trying to chase the money so bad to where you just neglect yourself because you'll get there and then not be able to enjoy the fruit of your labor. Yeah. So um, it's just all about balance at the end of the day. Yeah. For sure. That's dope. So we're gonna wrap it up, but before we wrap it up, okay, we got one more thing to do. All right, and I think you kind of know what we're about to do. Uh, yeah, I think I know. Yeah, so we're gonna look into this camera, right? And he's gonna speak something into existence. All right, it can be anything, everybody. big or small. You know, about for yourself, for your mom, for whoever. You know, just speaking for the city. Okay, or whatever. All right, I want y'all to remember this, right? Mm-hmm. And I want y'all to say it every morning. True. Okay. Here it goes. Money cometh easily and frequently mm-hmm. right now true true that's it that's it that's all you gotta do and then when you say that the money is gonna gravitate towards you it's gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna find gonna, it's you gonna it's gonna, gonna find you i promise you isn't it amazing for money no. to be calling you i'm like where do you come from exactly where like, you what? even came from but i'm glad you're here hey, it's a blessing I'm, I'm really <laughs> it's a blessing i'm sure. glad you're here man sure. that's how it happens hey he, i couldn't say it better make sure y'all do that that'll be 
a great way to start your day. Start for with sure. some positive affirmations. You know, yeah. remind yourself how great you are. Remind yourself what you stand for. Yeah. Remind yourself of you know how beautiful you are. Anything that you feel kind of down about or like you you feel insecure about, secure yourself. Yeah. You are your you are your own coach. You're your own mentor. You know, so make sure you stay on top of that. And we love you. We wish you the best. Peace, blessings. We out. Yeah.